Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're having a great day. I wanna to talk to you about displacement really quick. Um, when you get started in Cinema 4D, you might go to a new texture and see this displacement uh, slot right here. So if we click this on and then we add something like a noise and maybe we'll go into that noise and kick up the height to 40 so it's a little bit more obvious. And we'll take that and put that on one of our spheres. Now we can't see the displacement, but if we hit render, you can see that we have that displacement on the sphere. The problem is that it's pretty hard to see what's going on and you have to render it all the time. And if you have to animate that noise, um, it can just be really hard to work with. So instead of doing that, um, what you should do is add a displacer, which is right here. So if we add that, we'll put it in the other sphere. So in the displacer, we have a shading tab and under here, we can also put a noise. The difference being that once we put a noise in here, you can already see it in the viewport. So if we go into um, object, we also have the height, so we kick that up. And now if we hit render, we'll have uh, similar results from that noise, um, but obviously you can see the one on the right, which is really handy. And then if you wanna go into um, the animation speed and kick that up a little bit, you can even see your animation, um, which is really handy. So I hope that quick little tip helps you out in your workflow. Thanks as always for checking out the Pixel Lab. Stay tuned, we got lots of fun stuff coming up and we'll talk to you next time.